What's up guys, your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be going over what units to uh, buy for the Granny Cat Shop. Now, I know we have, uh, I believe, one more week of this, so uh, if there is anything crazy in the next um, next set of Granny Cat Coins, I will go over it, I will do it, but I wanted to get this video out now because um, pretty much Global is going to be getting their week two of this, so um, pretty much uh, like at the end of next update or whatever, I'll make another video if there's something different, if there's something better, if something changes, or anything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the video. So go ahead and go to the Green Cat Shop. Um, I know for JP, if you're on JP, I, I'm sorry that I made this so late because uh, there's only one more day for these units. So if you don't watch the video today, you kind of missed out. Well, you didn't really miss out, and I'm going to get into why. So starting off, we'll start from the bottom because that's week one. We have Nuker Sasuke, EMS Sasuke, Rin, KCM Naruto, and uh, Heart Kakashi. Now, out of week one, the group is not that good, right? There's not that good. Like, if you need a body healer on your team, go for her. Uh, you'd probably never go for EMS Sasuke. If you need some really high damage for Wisdom, you'd go for Nuker Sasuke. Um, I mean, if you need a tank for skill, I'd say go for KCM Naruto, but you don't really need that. Simply because uh, with the new story mode that just came out, um, with the new story mode that just came out, we have uh, Ambu Kakashi. We have Ambu Kakashi, and uh, he is already going to be tanking for skill so you don't really need that and the good thing about this Sasuke I mean this uh, Kakashi is that you can farm two of him so you don't need that Naruto at all like in the slightest he's obsolete 100% so um going back boom so yeah there's the Naruto uh, and this Kakashi and eh, the Kakashi's not that good so like week one is kind of whatever like it's not that good right going on to week two right Kadin is alright. Her max limit break is pretty decent. Uh, this Toby Rama is really good for PvP. But, I mean, if you're not looking for PvP, eh. Uh, Yugito is uh, pretty good for... She has a lot of resets. She has pretty good damage for a skill unit. 4-8 chakra, so you know. Um, Chojuro is alright too. Like, all these units in the shop are alright. Like, right? They, they don't really do anything. The only exception. The only exception is Yagura. He is a must-have. You 175,000% need to buy him first. You need to max dupe him. You need to get him all dupes. All right, he's your number one priority when it comes to the Granny Cat Shop. Now, uh, the reason why this is, and I'm glad you asked, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go over him. This Yagura is insane. Uh, blazing. Let me just go over here. Da, da, da. Yager, Child of the Blood Mist. Is this the Wisdom Yager? No, it's Body Boy. Alright. So, the reason why this Yager is so insane is because starting out, alright, so he's body type, which is really good. Uh, and I'm going to get into that why. Mid range, uh, 100, uh, 100 level. His cost goes to 28, right? Max Duke. Max Duke 28, right? So, uh, anyways, HP is 2000 or 2300 with pills. His attack is 1256 or 1356 with pills. Now, I know that's a kind of low attack stat, but that's not the point of him, right? We're going to get into it, right? So, now that we got that out of the way, going on to his field and buddy skill, which is, eh, uh, reduces skill damage by 20 to 25%. Really good because skill has type advantage to body. Buddy skill lowers a mobilization, which is whatever. But then going on to his uh, sync skills, right? Sync with body, 75 health per turn. Sync with mid-range, boost attack by 100. There's a lot of mid-range body units. So that's really, really good. Then going on to abilities, right? The first ability, um, increase ninjutsu multiplier by 1. So right, his regular jutsu. Going on to a second one, reduce skill damage by 20%. Really good. Increase ninjutsu multiplier by 1. So that's 2. Then um, increase damage delta skill by 30%. And then his last ability, which you can't see right now because he's a 5-star, has reduced skill damage by 25%. So he has a total of 45% skill damage reduction. Not to mention, he's giving his team 20 to 25% with his field skill. Not to mention, he's boosting his uh, attack to skill by 30%. 
Now going on to his jutsus, 5-10 chakra. His first one is 13 times attack to skilled enemy, right? It's single target. 13 times attack. But that becomes 15 times attack if um if you have the abilities. So he's practically using an ult multiplier. Like that's an ult multiplier, right? Um, seven times attack to all other elements. Then going on to his ultimate. Neutralizes element affinity, so negates type disadvantage. Um, to all enemies in range, 15.5 times attack and knocks them back. So pretty much, you do neutral damage to everybody, which is insanely good. Like, that's crazy, that's really good. Um, and all of this is free. You can literally get all of this from the Granny Cat Shop. Now, by free, I mean like you don't have to summon for him. You can 100% obtain him. Uh, you can get, In the Cat Shop, they have five dupes. So you can get all four of these dupes. You can't get the last dupe, which kind of sucks. Um, now, as far as um, any other unit or anything else like that, um, that's, that's pretty much it as far as week one, week two. Now... Like I said, when week three comes out, if week three has something crazy, I'll make another video talking about that. Um, but in the meantime, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below. Tell me you guys in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.